From Egyptian pyramids and the Amazon River to the Grand Canyon and the Himalayas, here are 15 amazing objects you can see from outer space. The Palm Islands. Along the coast of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates are three artificial islands that started construction in 2001. Only one has been completed to date, and it is built in the shape of a palm tree crowned by a crescent, hence the name. A second island is being built with a similar shape. When the project is completed, it is expected to contain villas and luxury hotels and increase the shoreline by 320 miles. More than 10,000 people are already estimated to live on the first island, which is known as Palm Jumeirah. It is said to be the largest artificial island in the world. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. The biggest beaver dam. On average, a beaver dam can be about six feet high and three feet wide. Lengths can go around 330 feet. But the largest known beaver dam is also the world's largest known example of animal infrastructure. It's located in Alberta, Canada's Wood Buffalo National Park, and it measures nearly 2,800 feet. That's half a mile long. That's twice the size of the Hoover Dam in Arizona and Nevada. Experts say that it was a huge collaborative effort between several beaver families that used thousands of trees and took many months to build. All that effort paid off. This triumph of rodent engineering is so huge that it can be seen from space. Phytoplankton blooms. Phytoplankton are microscopic organisms that occur in the topmost sunlit layer of almost all the world's freshwater bodies and oceans. When there is a rapid rise in their populations, it can create plume-like swirls that are large enough to be seen from the International Space Station. These events can have consequences for the entire ecosystem. Sometimes the results are benign, but other times these blooms can be harmful enough to injure animals and the ecology. The Ganges River Delta This is the world's largest delta, and it's located in Bangladesh and the state of West Bengal in the Indian subcontinent. The combined waters of several river systems, including the Ganges, meet here and empty into the Bay of Bengal. Because it's one of the world's most fertile regions, it's also known as the Green Delta. The triangular formation spreads across more than 41,000 square miles and is composed of lakes, channels, and swamps. With an estimated 400 million people living in the Ganges River Delta, it ranks as one of the world's most densely populated regions. La Rinconada, Peru the world's highest permanent human settlement is found in the isolated Peruvian Andes. At a height of 16,000 feet above sea level, La Rinconada is a gold mining town located at the foot of a huge glacier nicknamed the Sleeping Beauty. About 50,000 people live here, but it is a harsh existence. In addition to the extreme weather, the town has no police, no laws, and no plumbing or sanitation. Until the 21st century, it didn't even have electricity. Maybe seeing it from space makes it a little more inviting. The Greenhouses of Spain Almeria is a province of Andalusia, located in the southern part of the country. It has become noteworthy as a location for several famous movies, including Lawrence of Arabia and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. But these days, Almeria is better known as a vital hub of greenhouse farming. The province exports millions of tons of fruits and vegetables to other European countries, in the rest of the world, every year, the plastic greenhouse complex sprawls over 50,000 acres. With so many of the structures packed together, they reflect the sun with a brilliance that is visible from space. Mount Erebus. Rising about 12,000 feet, this volcano is located on Ross Island in Antarctica. Occupying the island with three inactive volcanoes, Erebus has been active for more than one million years. A research expedition discovered it in the mid-19th century while it was in the midst of erupting. Maybe that inspired scientists to name the formation Erebus, which is a region of Hades mentioned in Greek mythology personified as a deity of darkness. The Pyramids of Giza A building that stands 481 feet doesn't seem so tall these days, but for 4,000 years ago, the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt was the world's tallest structure built by humans. It's also the largest and oldest of the pyramids found in what is now known as the Giza Pyramid Complex. As if that's not enough accolades, the Great Pyramid is one of the oldest seven wonders of the world, and the only one that is still standing. So it's no wonder why the complex is a favorite subject for photographers. That includes astronauts, who often use the site as a way of documenting thousands of years of human activity. 
From space, the pyramids aren't visible to the naked eye, so photographers have to use high-resolution cameras with a zoom lens to snap photos of the ancient structures. The Amazon River Covering more than 2.7 million square miles, the Amazon Basin is the largest drainage basin on the planet. While there's some dispute concerning the exact length of the Amazon River, most sources indicate that it stretches about 4,300 miles and winds through six South American countries. That includes Peru, where it begins, and Brazil, where it empties into the Atlantic Ocean. There's actually another Amazon River, but you can't see this one from above. In 2011, researchers confirmed it has an underground twin, which has a nearly identical length and flow. It's called the Hemza River and is thought to be four times wider than the Amazon, but it only has a fraction of its volume. The Grand Canyon Measuring some 277 miles long, 18 miles wide in some places, and about a mile deep, the famous national park in Arizona more than lives up to its name. The South Rim tends to attract the most visitors and includes features like the Bright Angel Trail and the Desert Watchtower. The North Rim is more secluded and attracts hardcore hikers and backpackers. Some photos from NASA show not only the canyon itself, but also man-made and natural features like Lake Mead and the Colorado Plateau. All areas of the park offer so much spectacular scenery that it would be difficult to take a bad photo. That even applies to pictures taken by astronauts aboard the ISS. The Reshot Structure it is also known as the Eye of the Sahara and is a geological formation that isn't so apparent from the ground level. But its immensity comes better into focus when it's viewed from above. The structure covers some 25 miles across, and it's so easy to see from space that NASA uses it as a kind of landmark for their space missions. Experts can agree on its location, that it's in Mauritania's western Sahara Desert. What experts cannot seem to agree on 100% is exactly what the structure is. Given the formation's concentric rings and spherical shape, the structure could be the result of a volcanic eruption, or it could be the remnants of an impact crater left by asteroids slamming into Earth. Or maybe it's a geodesic dome that eroded over the ages. While various sources agree that a reasonable estimate for the age would be around 100 million years, the reshot structure is still a mystery. The Great Barrier Reef What's the largest single structure in the world made by living organisms? That would be the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, comprising an area of around 133,000 square miles the coral reef system has more than 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands that stretch over 1,400 miles. Located in the Coral Sea off the coast of Queensland, it's constructed by billions of minute organisms called coral polyps. At less than half an inch in diameter, it would be difficult to detect these creatures, but their work speaks for them. Like the beaver dam we mentioned earlier, the Great Barrier Reef is also huge enough to be seen from outer space. Bingham Canyon Mine Where would you find the world's largest hole excavated by humans? That would be in Utah, about 28 miles southwest of Salt Lake City. Digging at the Bingham Canyon Copper Mine began more than a century ago. At the time, it was considered a milestone in open pit mining operations. Over that time, a pit measuring more than half a mile deep has been created. Covering 1,900 acres and stretching some two and a half miles wide, the excavation is immense enough for astronauts to see from space with their naked eyes. Imagining the excavation as a stadium, it could seat an estimated 9 million people. Big Cities at Night Some of the most spectacular views from space are provided by Earth's most populated regions. Along with the outlines of continents, some of the world's most easily identifiable geographical features are cities lit up at night. The spectacle is most notable with densely populated regions like Western Europe, the Eastern US, and India. Those areas contain major metropolises with countless light sources that create vast areas of illumination. Did you know that being able to see the Great Wall of China from space is in fact a myth? If you missed that, why not go check out our video on other false facts you thought were true? 1. The Himalayas this famous mountain range in Asia separates the Tibetan Plateau from plains of the Indian subcontinent. Running some 1,500 miles and spreading across five countries, the Himalayas display some of the world's highest mountain peaks. More than 50 of them exceed elevations of 23,600 feet, including Mount Everest, the highest peak on Earth. 
It's not surprising that the legendary formations show up so distinctly, even from vast distances. Many pictures display the hundreds of lakes found in the Himalayas along with flowing rivers and immense glaciers. After the Arctic and Antarctica, the Himalayas has the world's third largest amount of snow and ice. Wow.